Perry recently posted a photo on Twitter of her foot getting cupped. She is one of the many celebrities who have taken to this ancient form of alternative medicine. So we're getting the scoop on cupping on The Revitalist. These marks may look intimidating, but they are actually from an ancient therapy known as cupping. Celebrities like Gwyneth Paltrow and Jennifer Aniston are believers in the practice and have been caught with the telltale signs even while walking the red carpet. Over the last few years, it's, it's exploded how, how popular it is. I mean, you know, 10 years ago when we were doing this, it was kind of, it was a little taboo. Nowadays, it's, you know, you can go to your uh, physical therapist, you can <gasps> see how it's... Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> I turned to Dr. Sunil Jain to find out how it can improve our health. It's meant to create results, it's meant to right. increase circulation, to improve qi, improve blood flow, based on the traditional Chinese medicine and the philosophy of, of uh, energy and meridians. But the placement is not limited to your back. The cups can be put on any part of the body that needs attention. So what are the most common areas besides sports injuries that people come in for? Probably one of the most is digestion. Uh, that's the common areas to use some stomach points. We we'll use a lot of lung points for people with upper respiratory tract or colds. What about any kind of physical, aesthetic things we can do to help us look and, and feel better. Oh, absolutely. One of the most uh, popular ways of using cupping nowadays is for the aesthetic purposes uh, for like cellulite and dimpling. So you say therapeutic. Does it hurt? You know, cupping doesn't really hurt, you know. It's uh, there's obviously, you, depending upon what body part you put it on, but um, it's, it's meant to be really relaxing. And the marks that are left, they will go away in a couple of days. Cupping our way to a healthier body on The Revitalist.